Well, tonight a family in Methuen is praying that rescuers can find a relative believed to be trapped underneath the rubble of that deadly blast in Beirut. While his family is here in Massachusetts, the Lebanese man was still overseas trying to get citizenship in the United States. That's when that tragedy struck. As Julie McDonald shows us, they do have reason for hope, but time could be running out. How do you help from thousands of miles away when you can't move rebel away? A Massachusetts family feels mounting desperation for help finding a relative trapped in the rubble from the explosion in Beirut Tuesday. I got the news before I saw the explosion and then, you know, it was, it was really hard then to watch the explosion after being so personally connected to it. It just didn't seem real. Rita's sister, Michelle Andoon from Methuen, is married to a security officer who works at the Lebanese port where the initial fire began. The couple has two young daughters. Two times his phone was answered. The first time for 21 seconds, the second time for 43 seconds. Loved ones in the U.S. are raising money for the family from afar and doing what they can to gain attention for Joanne Dune. Joe is not a U.S. citizen. He was in the process of being one, but his wife and kids are. And so on their behalf, we'd like for the U.S. to get involved. The more hands, the better. They're worried he's hurt and hungry, but clinging to small miracles like that phone picking up. He's a very humble, but yet really nurturing father and person. There's been, there's so many people behind us praying right now. I truly believe in the power of that. We're holding on to hope and believing he's alive. Julie McDonald, WBZ News.